everyone this is tanya here with the memory lane keepsakes and welcome 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 i am here to share my hobby lobby clearance haul with you guys now i was in hobby lobby and to my surprise i did not think they was going to be doing their markdowns this soon it caught me at by surprise especially when i saw uh, melissa which is mo creations here on the yt hi melissa thank you so much for sharing your haul and it's been some weeks since she shared that and i got my things around the same time she got her items but i'm just late to the game with posting everything but guys i already know a lot of these items are still in the store because hobby lobby did another clearance markdown but here's the thing the prices say reduce instead of clearance like they normally do now I recently was on here and I shared a huge haul with you guys I did a live you guys came to show your love and your support and I was really happy to do all of that but I was really really shocked to see that they had marked items down again because these items are brand new a lot of these items literally just hit the store and I was really caught off guard with that one but here's the thing so I saw a post back here on Facebook um, that stated something about um, the Hobby Lobby CEO maybe turning the company over. I'm not sure how true that is. You guys can do your research and your homework um, to see, you know, the facts on that. But there's a lot of changes going on in Hobby Lobby. I will say that. Um, I did notice that the walls are pretty scarce. Um, they do have a holiday theme still out and about. Um, a lot of things are marked down. They have made a lot of different price adjustments in the store. One being the fact on the Paper Studio, the items used to be 50% off from week to week. Now it's just 40% off. So I'm like, okay, so now they're making changes. I know everybody's going up on their prices. But also, with that being said, I also noticed that this clearance right here, again, says reduce. And the reduced portion is only 40% off. I heard rumors that they are doing away with their dyes. Um, the scissor dies and different things. I hope that's not true, but I keep hearing the same thing You guys can check with your local store and see if you can get any information from the um, Manager or maybe the employees may know something but when I went to ask um, one of the employees that I know really well He didn't have any information to give me. He had no idea no clue um, so I guess we have to go with the motions and just see what's going to happen but I will be real with you all and tell you if there's items that you are looking for make sure you don't wait you go ahead and grab what you want if you can um, get these items because some of these items are really kind of pricey still at the reduced price of 40% off we're going to go ahead and jump into this haul but I just kind of want to share that information with you all from what I know um, so I hope that they are not doing away with the clearance because that's going to hurt a lot of us crafters I really adore seeing a lot of the Tim Holtz um, products and Sizzit and different items come in there. The Memento dies, all those items. I will go to Hobby Lobby to get my items. Let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling about this major change at Hobby Lobby. Because I have like a, a weird suspicion that if they're doing away with this, I want to know what's coming in next. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to make it hard because it seems like everything is mostly shifting to online to where they're making you have to go online to the online retailers to be able to purchase the items that we want to be able to walk in the store and look at up close and personal. So again, I want to hear what you guys are feeling about that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump in this haul. Um, it is a lot of items, so I hope you guys bear with me. I just want to get that tidbit out so you guys can hear um, from Memory Lane Keepsakes how I was feeling about it and the information that I had to provide for you all. So let's go ahead and do this. So I did pick up a few of these items, and keep in mind these were two stores, so I didn't find everything at one store. And the second store I went to, I did find more of these because this is what I was on the hunt for. These are the dye and stamp envelope and magnets. And what this is, it's a 12-piece set. And this set, I don't have the original price of what it was, but guys, this pack was $7.20. That is the, at the 40% uh, reduced price. But with this set comes 12, so you get six magnet sheets already cut for you. And you also get six envelopes for your magnet sheets to go in for you to store your dies. Or you can store your stamps if you choose to. 
So with that being said, I went ahead and grabbed these because I didn't have time to play games with these particular um, storage items here because this is something that I to uh, totally needed. Being the fact that I have a lot of dies and stamps in my stash. And so I want to get those in order so that way I can get to what I need to be able to create to be great. So I got a few of these packs. So here's another one right here. And this is what the envelope looks like on the back. It's just a clear insert there um, that you can put that magnet sheet enclosed in there. And I like the idea that it already has the holes for you. But I'm also sharing this with you because on the back here they show you two ways that you can store these magnet sheets with those envelopes um so they had these bins here and these bins they had on clearance but the clearance price was like 16 plus so that was the clearance price and i want to say they also came with magnets and dividers as well i didn't get those i just walked right past those my store was fully loaded with those but i did not pick up any of those bins i didn't see the need for it because in my previous hobby lobby clearance shopping haul you guys remember i picked up the scissor binders that hold the magnet sheets and folders and i will show you one that's already open that i had hauled if you don't remember what i'm talking about that would be this die storage solution right here now these are retired now uh, i think when they first came out they might have been black but they have the gray ones back here some months ago um at hobby lobby and i did share this on my live with you all and these are the um the binders right here and as you can see on the back these do fit inside of the binder and so i wanted to share that with you all this one's open already um but i picked up a few of these um but these are definitely really great because you will have that closure so you could take it on the go especially if you're doing hops or if you just want to store it in your space and i like the fact that it also has the zipper on it as well so inside of this item and i'll share that again with you all it does have the magnets and the folders that come inside of there it's inside of here and i just pull one of them out real quick here so this is what that looks like. A little different from what's inside the pouch that I recently hauled. But again, you already have your storage that goes in there. And this is what the inside of that binder looks like. It has the clips right here. And you also have the band to be able to hold those dies in place if you need to. And you would just close it right back up by zipping it up. And that's all good. Let's recap. So I just tried out the folders to see if they will fit inside of here now i did use the existing ones i went ahead and placed those inside of my um scissor uh, die storage solution here and this is the pieces that it comes with it comes with the one magnet sheet and the five envelopes so of course that's going to work because this was already a set so that's already been placed in here as you can see so i have the one magnet sheet as stated and then we have the five envelopes that it comes with So I wanted to um, attempt to try out the new system that I just picked up for the extra dies and storage for the ring binders. And this one right here, just to show you that one again, this is the die and stamp envelopes and magnets. This comes with a set of 12. There are six magnet sheets and there are six envelopes, right? So this item right here states on the back that it works with the die and stamp storage or ring binders. Now you do have a case for an option to pick up for additional costs that already do come with magnet sheets, but you can get that if you choose to. But because it stated that it works with the die and stamp storage or ring binders, I took it as in these will still work inside of this binder as well. That is not happening. Only for the simple fact, I went ahead and removed one of the envelopes and the magnet sheets, and this is what those that set looks like. Um, so this is... Um, the envelope and the magnet sheet so these slide in here just perfectly fine you can't go all the way to the end because of course you have to leave some room for your binder um, to fit inside of that notebook now this is not going to work being the fact that this is a two-pronged notebook for your dies and your storage here this has three so you need a three-pronged notebook in order for this to work um, so you can definitely either make your own or use an existing notebook that has your three prong and you can use that to your advantage. Um, another thing you may can try if it doesn't bother you, you may be able to go ahead and slide. Let's see if this item will fit in here. Alright, so if you want to, you can maybe slide a few of them in the 
in the um cover right here if you want to so that slides in just perfectly fine but I really don't like that concept being the fact that I want to be able to flip mine. So this may or may not work for you. So again, I'm just going to use an existing notebook. But I just wanted to come on here and share with you that those extra ones that I pick up, even though it states that it will work inside of here, it does not. So I want to go ahead and just get that out there so that way you guys can choose to purchase or not. And thank you for watching. Now we're going to go ahead and get in some of the other items that I picked up. I have a ton of embossing folders and then I picked up some accessories to go with my scissor um, die cutting machine because that's something I use often. That is the most used machine in my room. Um, even next to my Gemini, I use the scissor more than the Gemini. But I love having different cutting options because everything you'll find that certain dies don't cut just in the scissor bit shop machine. You're going to need another machine to be able to cut some of those heavy duty dies. So with that being said, I also have this right here by Memento. Um, this is a um, die set here that comes along with a honeycomb shape embossing folder. This was originally $9.99 and I got it for $5.99. So that again, 40% off. Not the best deal in the world. That's why you have to choose and pick what you think is best for you and your pockets. Because guys, this stuff definitely does add up. And it adds up quick. So I got that. Um, the next thing would be this embossing folder right here. This particular one right here is by Tim Holtz and it is a 3D texture phase A6 size. Again, this was $5.99. That's the reduced price. And this one is called Lumber. I also picked this one up because these are some of the ones that I had in my crafty stash. And these are new ones that literally just hit the market. This retails online right now. You can check for yourself any of the sites for $12.99. I was able to get this one reduced at $7.79. Now, I think that's a good deal, although I would have loved to have paid way cheaper, but it's better than paying $12.99 for this one when it's online for that price. And this one is one that I had on my wish list for sure. And this one is called Pine Branches. Really beautiful embossing folder. This is another one I had on my list that's a new one. And Tim shared this one in one of his videos recently. Again, $12.99 online. I got this one for $7.79, reduced price for 40% off, of course, at Hobby Lobby. This one is called Tree Rings. Really pretty. So I had to have that one. I went ahead and I picked this one up, which is another new one. Again, $12.99, got it for $7.79. This one right here is called Acorns. I also got this one here, same price. Um, this particular one right here is called Cobblestone Number 2. So I got that one as well as this one right here. And this one um, is a 3D texture fade embossing folder. And this was called Quilted. Beautiful folders. Now these I've never seen before. I didn't even know Hobby Lobby even had these until I saw them. I don't know if they're, they were new. But I don't know how I missed these. But these are by Spellbinders. And these are more embossing folders. These right here normally retail for $18.99, well actually $14.99, and I got it for $8.99, being the fact that again, 40% off. Um, this one is called Beautiful Blooms, but what made me get these embossing photos was because of the size of these. Um, these pretty much cover a lot more area of your cars because the size of them is 5.5 by 8.5 inches, which is a great amount of coverage if you're trying to do a big card. And so I went ahead and I picked these up right here. This photo is absolutely gorgeous. And I know you're not going to really be able to see that that great. But it's really, really pretty. So we'll just stick with the front. Let's see if you guys can see that. That's the print right there. Hopefully you can see that. You can see the flower print here. Okay. Because we have a glare going on. Okay. The next one is the um, Scenic Ponycetias. And this one right here is another beautiful one right here. Absolutely beautiful. So maybe if I tilt it, you guys can see that a little bit better there. It's a really pretty embossing folder. The camera is not doing these embossing folders justice, guys. This one is called Circle Illusion. Really pretty. And it has all these gorgeous circles. You can see that. All the little shapes and stuff in there. All again, all these were $8.99 each. And this is the last one that I found. This is called Bevel Diamonds. And you guys can see that one really pretty but i love the size of these these are like humongous really really love that that's what made me get those and then also because i had never um saw those different shapes and designs before now we're going to move along to some die cuts 
Um, I got this one by Momenta. This is a gingerbread. So this is $8.99. As you guys know, the Momenta never have names. So I use a name on myself. So we're going to call this one Gingerbread Man. Um, so this one also includes four sheets of your acetate. And it did retail for $14.99, which I think was a bit steep. But then this one ended up being reduced to $8.99, which is still a little higher than I want to pay. Um, this is the main reason why I went into the store. So I went in there mainly because of this one right here. Because I had saw this one online and also in a magazine that I had got from scrapbook.com when I had did a haul with them. And I wanted this doll from the time I seen it. And the fact that I saw this one on clearance, this was what made me get up and go. And then from there, this is how everything else came about. And I ended up picking up more that I shouldn't have. But I did. Um, this is the Spellbinders right here. And this is called Partial and Post Mailbox. You get 15 cutting dies. This retail for $24.99. And I got it for $14.99 is what it was reduced to beautiful die set as you can see now just to keep in mind so you will know you do not this piece right here does not come with it guys the the stamp piece that says please deliver to santa that does not come with it that's what caught me off guard there but you can put whatever you want to put this is a separate piece that you will have to buy separate of course but it does come with the flowers and also the post um, mailbox there so this is the pieces on the back so you can see for yourself really good size really huge I like the size of it then I also picked this one up right here this particular one happens to be um, the frameless with stamps and this one um, is called candle jar and I like this one for a lot of different reasons um, this one right here has so many different variations of how you can create with it I wanted one that had a jar of being the simple fact if you choose not to use the candle that came with it that is absolutely beautiful you could always spin this and turn it around and use something else underneath this jar like sweet treats. So that's what made me get it. And also I have some other ideas for it as well. And I'll be coming back to share later what I do with this particular one. But it comes with a lot of different uh, flowers and different pieces that you can use to create with this one. This one retail for $10.79 is what the reduced price was. But it costs, um, it was originally $17.99. That's what it looks like on the back. But it's a really decent size, so that's why I like that one. This is one that I had on my list for quite some time. Um, this one is the Butterflies by Tim, um, by Tim Holtz, which are the Sizzit ones. This is called Detail Butterflies Mini. You get four of them in this set. Um, these were reduced to $8.99. Now this one here is an all-time favorite, which is one of his new ones. I want to say this one came out last year. Um, this one retail for $28.99. This one was a bit steep. You only get one butterfly, but the size of this butterfly is bigger than my hand. Not from this front image, but the back image. This was reduced to $17.39, which is crazy because a lot of people probably just got this one or either walked away from it and then just that would have been it. But I did get this one because I know what I want to do with it. And this is a huge butterfly. It's really, really huge. So, yes, really good size. And it's called Perspective Butterfly. Really, really beautiful in detail. I like that one. Now we're going to move on to the different pieces that I got to go with my scissor machine, which I thought was a great buy. Um, of course, I would love for the reduced price to have been a whole lot more, um, being the fact that these items, they're trying to get rid of them. Um, so here, here we go. So we have the embossed and transfer set. This was $14.99. I got it for $8.99. Um, you get a silicone rubber uh, with this set right here. Um, and also it works not only in your bit shop, but it works in the bit kit and the Vagabond too. So yes, I'm going to play with this and see how I like it. Then this item right here, I so love. I've already used this one right here. And this is the Chrome Precision Base Plate for your intricate thin, um, thinlets. This um, retail for $28.99 and I got it for $17.39. This particular item right here is a winner. Um, this item allows you to be able to cut those intricate pieces very easily instead of having to fight with them so much. So I really adore this one. This is one of my favorite um, items so far in this haul. Um, so this one's going to be lovely for a lot of the detailed pieces that I have. Um, being a fact that the butterflies and different things. So this is really going to come in handy. I also picked up a bunch of glitter cutting plates. So I got just these two right here. Um, it's only one in each package. They were $9.99. I got it for $5.99 a piece. And it's just glitter plates. No different from your white ones. The only difference is it has more of the cuts when you're cutting with this plate. But it's still going to cut up the plate. 
just keep that in mind then they also had in addition to the glitter cutting plate that only comes with one they had this one which is the cutting um, plates um, or cutting pads that you get two and the difference of the price is $7.79 um, which the plates are clear and not glittered so you can see the difference you got the clear plates but you get two or you have the glitter plate and you get one and the price difference is just what a little um, under three bucks more um, so you figure out which one you want now the cuts are really going to show up on this one but you still get an additional plate with this one um, but yes I want to get more plates because I heard they're not going to be making any more of those um, it may be hard to find so I picked up two sets of that I also got the mini ones to go you can use that in your um, scissor machine or you could use it in your um, mini one this is the mini cutting plates and they were $2.99 there's two cutting plates in there that are the clear ones and then I also picked up this big one right here which is the cutting plates as standard this was um, originally $22.99 and I got it for $13.79 and it's two long ones in there this is great especially if you have those um sl movers and shakers those big dies and different things and you have you need more of a extension for a plate so this is going to be really great so i decided to go ahead and keep it at one time i was going to take this back but i'm so glad i didn't because i do not want to pay that price for it the 22.99 and i saw it online some places for 30 if not 40. But yes, you go ahead and do your research and figure out what's going to work best for you. But I hope Hobby Lobby does not get rid of their um, dies and their embossing folders because I really adore going in the store and be able to put my hands on it and be able to see it and to feel it and touch it and just all those different things like that and to get an up close and personal um, perspective before I choose to buy it. So you guys, again, let me know in the comments how you feeling about the Hobby Lobby um, items going away. Um, as far as the dies and the bossing folders, it would be a real shame for them to do that because I do feel like it's going to hurt us as crafters. But at the same time, it may help us, especially our pockets. Anyway, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Continue to be blessed as always. Happy crafting. And also check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings. Bye-bye.